Well, hi there. It's been a while since I did a video journal and you know, I had my face on and clothes instead of pajamas or plaids because I was shooting a podcast with Jan Arden and I'll keep you posted on my socials where you can watch it. But I just thought, well, why not connect like this for a change? It's been a while. How you been? We've been okay. We've been all right. Um, so there's been a little change in our family and I wanted to tell you about it without going into too many details, but let me just say, I know more now than I've ever known in my mm, years about how puppies are made. And it's not how you think. It's not the dirty dancing in the street. Oh no, it's not. It's a 20 minute ordeal. And he does it three times. And well, anyway, Dottie went away for her dirty weekend last week. And I'll take you back a little bit. Our little Havanese, who is a year and a half old, is part of a breeding program. It's, I think, a Swedish model, or at least she was. And so is he. His name is Radar. Here's the daddy. Dottie went into season or heat um, about two weeks ago. And then we took her up to Cobble Hill, which is about a 45 minute drive from our home where her breeder is, had her blood tested and they said, bring her right in, radar's coming over. So all the drive there, we're singing to Dottie, our little girl, girl, you'll be a woman soon. And we told her, you know, ask him about himself. Guys love to talk about themselves and, you know, make him feel important. So anyway, all of our talk was not even necessary for the foreplay because she was all in. So was he. And uh, she stayed up there for three days and three steamy nights. And we picked her up last Friday, none the worse for wear, but she's going to have stories to tell. So here's how it works. In about two months, just at about Christmas time, Dottie is expected to have puppies. Now, we won't know whether her Radar Love, his name Radar, of course, uh, took or not. But I mean, there's just no chance that it didn't. Um, and she'll have, you know, five or six puppies. And we'll get a little bit of money from each puppy that comes. But um, it means that we're going to be without Dottie for about eight weeks in the new year, which is fine. And she's going to be a wonderful, loving mom because she's just so chill. Oh, my sweet, sweet dog, who is just the light and love of our lives. And I know that we told you when we got her that she was also born March 24th, which is Lauren's birthday. So there was that immediate attachment. But anyway, she's our sweet girl and she has been bred for the first time. So now we go through pregnant puppyhood and, and all of that 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 entails. Now you're probably wondering, well, will you take one of Dottie's puppies? And I think we might get first pick or something, but there is no way we are going to mess with the perfection that we have found with this one dog in our home. And so, no, as much as I will want to and probably beg and whine like Dottie at the door when she had to say goodbye to Radar, no, there will be no puppy in the house, but that's our story. And it'll allow me to kind of travel in January, which is nice because it's usually pretty rainy here in the Victoria area in the winter. We even get the odd snowstorm now because of climate change. But speaking of travels, my bestie Lisa Brandt is back from her three weeks in Italy. And we will have a brand new Gracefully and Frankly for you, episode 43 this Thursday. We're so proud of this podcast. And Jan Arden was so generous to talk with me about it. And as for Drift, over 225,000 downloads for Drift now. So thank you. If you have joined our sweet sleep community, it's free and you can always find how to find it just right here. So easy. Simplecast.com is our platform. So that's what we've been up to. You know, lots of fun with the grandkids and just kind of watching fall arrive. Take care, my friend. Thanks for coming by, and uh, it's good to be with you again. Puppies! <laughs> Bye for now.